Hello, and thank you for joining us. My name is Mark, and I work with the research and development team with Yamaha in Milton Keynes in the UK, just north of London. And today, I've got a very special guest with me. Um, all the way from Berlin in Germany, I have Jay Rennes. Hi thank there, Jay. Hi, Mark. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah. Hello, everyone. I'm Jay Rennes, Senior PDM for EMEA. I'm very excited to be here today along with the Yamaha, and we've got something to show you, which is very exciting. We have indeed, yeah, yeah. So, so uh, as Jay mentions, she, she represents a company uh, called ID, IDK. And uh, so IDK and Yamaha, since around 2018, um, we've had a nice collaboration going on, um, which we're going to detail today. We're going to go into some information about that. Um, but before we talk about that directly, Jay, could you tell us a bit about IDK? Sure, yeah. my pleasure. Yeah. So IDK, we are a pure Japanese manufacturer who've, who've been on the market for 34 years and we're the number one in terms of pro-AV. We've been very strong in cooperation and educational. And ever since I joined IDK, IDK Europe has been very proactive and growing so fast in terms of a lot of government high-profile projects. So we've got high profile projects in European institutes, such as European, in European Parliament, European Chemicals Agency, convention centers, theaters, opera houses, and of course, universities, right? What our products values are, we, have, we are completely pure Japanese manufacturer. We are no OEM, ODM, meaning we know what we do from scratch manufacture all the products by its book, having all the necessary components. So our failure, failure rate is extremely low, between 0 0.3 and 0 0.4, right? And we cover more or less all the applications when it comes to signal distribution. So mainly we have, we have a wider range of portfolio, so I can't go through all the details. So if I may say three different categories, one is the IP Ninja based on SDVOE, AV of IP system, which has, been, which has been extremely popular in Europe. One of the biggest in stories that we have now up to 1,000 endpoints in European Parliament for the interpreter's booth signal distribution. And we have the MSC lineup, which have the fixed IOs, fixed inputs, outputs, depending on the models. And next, that that is very, which is very popular for the live events, modular type metric switches, depending on the chassis, 8x8, 16x16, 32x32, and 64x64. 64 64. Yes, yeah. this is who we are. So really everything video is Correct. IDK, right? Correct. Um, and this switcher in particular, so this is one of the smaller switches in the range, right? Correct. So this is the, smallest, is the smallest switcher. Let me explain what it is, mm. right? This has been our killer product, and I've been doing more than 200 live demos. Each time, every single customer has been impressed how beautiful this product it is. So it has the four inputs, two HDMI in, two H-based in, and one HDMI output, and one H-based output. So back then, we are the world first manufacturer that came up with built-in scan converter, which not only does the scale upscaling, downscaling, but also color spacing, masking, auto input detection, and seamless switching. Because of the built-in scan converter, you are able to see such a fast seamless switching, like seamless, right? And it also, you can put the beam map feature and download your logo and then assign to one input, then you'll be able to see such a Yamaha logo. So, wow, <laughs> <laughs> another beauty, it has a picture in picture, meaning you can have the logo picture in picture and PowerPoint or a camera of your face and then PowerPoint and then send it out to USB capture unit, mm. then you'll be able to do Zoom, Teams meeting. Well, yeah, and, and also, so there are different types of uh, transitions on this as well, aren't there? So, Correct. Um, so it will do seamless switching, but it will also do um, the type of transition that we've just seen there. Yes. Um, so um, also with these switches, there's a number of ways that they can be controlled. 
And um, so, of course, we do still have serial control on these, RS-232. Correct. But we also have LAN control on the back. And yes. that's really one of the main reasons that we're having this conversation today, yes. right? Um, so from Yamaha's side, um, Yamaha um, make a bit of software called Provision Air, uh, or Provision Air Touch, or Provision Air Control. Um, I'm going to show you Provision Air Control today. So I have a Windows tablet here, which is running Provision Air Control. I won't try and turn it fully to the camera because you're just going to see reflections. But using the magic of technology, we'll see a window above us here, uh, which will show the touch screen that I've got running on here. And from this device, um, I can control the switcher in the room. So I can recall presets on the IDK switcher. Um, and you'll see that's come up very quickly. We've got picture in picture. Um, and then we've got a full screen um, option there. We've only got a couple of inputs going into this for the demo today. Um, and then I'm able to switch inputs here as well. Now on the left hand side, um, we have a level meter that you can see bouncing up and down. That's the microphone, so you can hear my voice, we can hear Jay's voice as well on there when, when she speaks, and we'll see that bouncing up and down on there. And that's actually control, uh, controlling um, a, a mix bus on a CL1 mixing console that we've got in the corner there. So Provision Air Control and Provision Air Touch um, began uh, life as a bit of software just to control Yamaha devices. Um, so you could control your mixing desk, you could control your MTX or MRX um, DSP processor. Um, all those kind of technologies and now some of the newer Adesia and RM series components can be controlled from Provision Air as well. Um, but now uh, we also have the ability to control um, IDK switching devices as well. So we have yeah. in total nine models, which are all implemented onto PVC. So thanks to Yamaha, who have this opportunity of bringing you guys a whole package of AVC. How fantastic is that? Audio, video, and controlling. So you don't need to do that much. It's so easy, intuitive. Yeah. Just download it, and you'll be able to control the whole AVC. Exactly. I mean, the, the the whole system is actually drag and drop. So if you're configuring it using Provision Air Control on Windows, um, you just open up the software. All your devices on the network can be detected. Um, you get a nice little, little mark and a, a little tick next to each device. Uh, and you just select the functions that you want and drag them onto the page. Um, so it's very, very simple to, to use, very, very simple to configure. Um, and I should mention again, this is free software, so you can download this for free from the Yamaha website. Um, Provision Air Touch runs on iPads, um, so um, you can download it onto your iPad and you can use that as a control device in your meeting space. So if you've got your Yamaha audio system or conferencing system in that room and you've got an IDK switcher, it's a very simple drag and drop process to, to get everything working. Everything can be up and running within minutes, really. There you go. Yeah. So easy, right? Very and uh, we'll be very happy to answer you any of the questions. So if you just contact us, get in touch with us, we'll answer you any questions you have. Yeah, so you'll see around now, you'll see uh, some contact details. If you want to find out more information about Yamaha products, um, you'll see some information now. So um, here's a web address where you can go to find out more information about um, whether, whether it's Provision Air Touch or Provision Air Control or some of the other devices that we've mentioned today. And also, um, if you want to reach out to us, you can do that on a number of social media channels. Um, so whether that's Facebook or Instagram, LinkedIn, or even um, if you want to go to our Yamaha Global YouTube channel, um, you'll find a whole load of videos on different subjects there. Um, and uh, you may even find this one at some point as well. So uh, Fantastic. So, uh, so yeah, all that's left for me to say is thank you very much, Jay, for joining us today. You're more than welcome. And thanks for having me. And if you let us know, like, wow, I've seen you with Mark at Yamaha, I'll be extremely happy. Just find us. Yeah. yeah? Excellent. Well, thank you very much and uh, hope to see you again next time. See you next time.